So, my, 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 here we are in Seattle. We had such an interesting week in Seattle. We had our little, did everybody here enjoy the little joke summer that we had this week? It was, it was really fun. Everybody was so depressed, you know, rain, mudslides, everybody's depressed, and then suddenly 70 degrees, and everybody ran outside in their shorts, <laughs> and then rain, they just ran, rain, mudslides again. It's sort of like God, you know, just had a little fun with us. He had a little, he's just, he's a funny guy, he's just playing a little trick on us. It's like, want some candy? Whew, and they take it away. So. <laughs> Eh, it'll be June until we see that again, but it was uh, just kind of funny. And also very interesting in the news, we found out uh, this way, I think just today it was in the news, that Los Angeles doesn't want the Seahawks. Oh. oh. Well, now, raises a few interesting points. Now, Ken Baring uh, says they're not going to come back here. So as I understand it, the latest plan is they're going to get in a big bus and travel around the country and play the Harlem Globetrotters, which I think <laughs> is good. It's a good plan. Actually, they say a certain unnamed local individual may be buying the uh, Seahawks. And so I'm guessing that apparently what happened is that Paul Allen came out of his house, he saw Gary Locke standing there again, and he just, all right, look, here's the hundred million, go buy it, just get off my lawn, go, go, get out of here, you know. <sighs> so anyway, lots of important stuff happened this week, but personally the most significant thing that happened is that I turned 40 on Thursday. I did that, so, <laughs> no, no. I know what you're going to say. I know you're saying, no, no, John, you 40, that's impossible. You look like you're still in high school. <laughs> at least like the guy, the weird guy who hung around the playground at high school. You look like that. But I feel great about it. You know, it's time when you want to settle down, you know, sort of take stock of your life, take stock of yourself, do some probing just like they do <laughs> in the checkups that you start getting when you hit 40. And I, you know, when I think about it, I guess I fell short of a few of the goals that I set for myself when I turned 20. For example, I, I never did marry Nastasia Kinski, which I kind of, you know, I didn't regret that. I, I don't drive a car that fires rockets. I always wanted that. And I haven't really unclogged the drain in the laundry room sink. But the thing is, I'm at peace, is basically. The deal is, a lot of people start freaking out as they, ow, okay, as they, <laughs> as they approach 40, but once the, the odometer clicks over, it's not that bad. And I can demonstrate that with my driver's license photos. Now, here's the one I got this week, okay? You see? That's a very calm man. That's a man at peace. Now, here's the one it replaced. Now, you see? I was freaking out, you know? I was obviously, I was 38, 39, I was bothered. So basically, just to all of you guys out there who, you know, think your life is over, well, basically, you're right. But I, what I'm saying is just <laughs> relax about it. Get yourself a Lazy Boy recliner like this one. I got this at a great place that just opened up, and they're one of our new advertisers. Take a look. <laughs> 